we want to find the area of the shaded portion in figure A, which means we want to find the area of this polygon. We need to recognize there's not a single formula we can use to find this area, but what we can do is break this up into two areas, and then the sum of the two areas will give us the area of the polygon. Notice how if we cut the polygon here, we now have a rectangle and a triangle, and if we find these two areas, the sum of these two areas will give us the area of the polygon. However, we are not given the length of the base of the triangle. We need to find the length of this base. Notice how this side has a length of 14 meters. This length must be the same as three meters plus the length of the base of the triangle plus five meters. And therefore, the base of the triangle has a length of 14 meters minus three meters minus five meters, which is six meters. Now that we have all the information that we need, the area of the polygon, again, is equal to the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. Using the area formulas, we would have the area is equal to the length times width of the rectangle plus one half times the base times the height of the triangle. Going back to the polygon, notice how the length of the rectangle is 14 meters. The width is five meters. Looking at the triangle, the base is six meters, and the height is seven meters. This is all the information that we need. The area of the polygon is equal to the area of the rectangle, which is 14 meters times five meters, plus the area of the triangle, which is one half times the base, which is six meters, times the height, which is seven meters. Simplifying, 14 times five is equal to 70, plus one half times six is three, three times seven is 21. The area of the polygon is 91 square meters. Below we enter 91, and then we select the units of square meters, or meters squared. I hope you found this helpful.